What up, Jesus? Your boy Frank the Tank. And today we're gonna bring in the Jaws of Air of Flex Time. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this one. This one has a little couple of um, issues, maybe because uh, it's not the real one made from GoPro, but it might be from the same manufacturer. So I do have the GoPro here. I'm actually gonna bring it here so you guys can see it. This is the actual GoPro one, right? This one has the logo, if you guys see it, and we're gonna compare it with this one. If you're interested you're in the market of buying something similar to this clamp right here for your, your web cameras, your your real, your real your big, large cameras, your your small little cameras, so this pretty much works for everything. I bought this one for the GoPro, and I'll tell you something. This is an awesome little clamp that I have. Um, have it maybe for two, three years already. I used it for a lot of things. You could even use it just to hold it as a regular camera holder, you know, and you could adjust it. And then what I used to do when I went to a car convention, I used to just clamp it somewhere and focus in, look at my phone, make sure it's looking right. So we're gonna compare with this. This is a high quality, high end um, jaw, a flexible jaw. So, but we're gonna compare with the cheap version that I just bought here. And this is made in China, tells you right here uh accessories for the camera that's what it says so we're gonna go ahead and open it up um a couple of things that give you one year warranty and customer service that you probably never get a hold of so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see how it well works and what you get and then we're gonna compare with side by side with the gopro one so this one's inexpensive cheap and the reason i bought it is because i need a camera here to be uh, uh, focusing on the green screen so that's the only reason I end up buying it. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's the difference on it, on the quality. And we're gonna compare it with this one, like I said. So I'm gonna put this on the side so you guys could just focus this on this. And let's see what you get. You get a, comes in a little plastic bag, uh, see-through bag that you can actually just open it up on the side, get it out. And you know what? Kind of feels the same. I'm not quite sure. And it has a GoPro accessory already which I, I do like that, but there's an issue. So this one has their logo. Um, and then um, this one, oh, actually this one's pretty tight. It's really hard. Oh shoot, it's because it's new. It has the, the tighteners right here. Um, this one actually has the, the GoPro accessories that you could just put in here. Let me put it in here this way. One way, you have to go in one way, either one way or another. And there's only, it's it's brand new so it's gonna be a little hard to get in there and if you guys see it and it's flexible it moves the same it does have the camera accessory in the top here um, uh, uh, just to let you know if you're gonna mount a, a, a regular camera with uh, I forgot the measurements of the actual ring you need to purchase a, a GoPro accessory that has that for regular cameras all right so just to let you know off the bat it doesn't come with it this is pretty much you get. Let's go ahead and move the box out of the way and let's bring in the GoPro version of it and see how good of a knockoff it is or how well it is. So right now, off the bat, you guys see it. Um, let me move them side by side. Um, the clamps are large, a lot larger here. They're pretty much, um, they look like they're built the same. This has actually been used so many times that it's a lot looser. This one's actually brand, brand new, so it's gonna be really tight. If you guys can see the, the, the fasteners in the back, and the springs they're pretty much um similar size the springs uh, i'm trying to see if i could get a good angle there my my lighting's not very good right now they look like they're made the same quality maybe in the same factory who knows um the same straps they got the tighteners here you can tighten it up but uh, mine is actually in here i actually put it in here let me move this out of the way too so this one has a logo um they pretty much they, they act and feel the same. Now, on the top of this, these straps right here, on the flexible part of it, this is a little loose already because I've been using it for quite a, not too loose, but it's, it actually retains it, its, its, it's uh, flexibility really good. Uh, this part right here, like I said, you're gonna have to purchase a different, a different input here if you wanna um, put in your camera in here. Right now, it's made for the GoPro. That's pretty much what I use it for. Um, this one's made for the GoPro right now too. So we're gonna compare it and they look like they're very flexible. Honestly, I would have to give you uh, maybe a couple of tries or maybe I could come back next year and tell you how well they work. But for the price of it, I mean, you're gonna pay five times more than this one, you know? So 
the GoPro and this one, it's a good knockoff. And then let me see how the length of it. I need to see how. Let me strain this one up. See how long it is. If it's about the same up, same size. Um, pretty much almost. Uh, the GoPro is a little smaller. If you guys see it. Uh, let me see if you guys can see it. So I'm gonna side by side. It's a it's a lot. Let me let me take them out so you guys can see that. It's maybe like an inch higher, so you get more on the knockoff, a little bit more on the knockoff than than this one right here. And to be honest with you, it feels the same, like just like the GoPro. I don't feel any difference. Even the screws are about the same in the bottom. They look everything looks identical other than the GoPro is a little smaller and the new knockoff is a little larger like an inch larger I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but honestly, it's the same thing I mean, I wouldn't feel a difference if I'm walking around with the cameras uh, What I like to do is walk around with the let me see they do fit of course both of them fit So I'm gonna put the knockoff back. How I was pretty much. I like to walk around with a, in, in a convention with the camera like this and the camera facing forward um this way spacing forward so not that bad and then if i find a place man this is hard to even open it up i mean itself the tiners are pretty good they're very decent uh i don't see a big difference honestly i, I don't see any difference other than uh, one inch so I, I if you're gonna buy something like this go for the knockoff i mean you know they pretty much i'll, I'll come back in the year and let you guys know What's the difference i mean right now i've been using this one for almost two years more than two years i believe but this one right here is brand new so the clamps look a little tiny larger than this than than the gopro version uh but you're pretty much buying the same exact thing other than this is one inch a little lar larger than the gopro so if you're looking for something just about an inch higher maybe this could be it um same plastic same material um feels about the same like i said um so gopro and this one there's not a big difference you know it's it's they look the same they do the same thing but at a cheaper price so if you have any questions or any comments i'm your host frank the tank and we are out